It's Melissa, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the first um, layout video that I've made with my March clip kit which is called Hell Year and it features the Goldie Collection by Ashley Goldberg and it also has some amazing exclusive um, products in it. It has a couple of papers and um, flare and of course cards and printables, cutter parts etc. So I had film in the beginning of this layout but um, my camera's been playing up lately but all I did was get some white acrylic paint and just put some down on the paper and also on the white cardstock. I wanted to really feature that beautiful floral, I love doing that, it's something you would have seen me do a lot and so the way to do that is to have a large piece of it and have a lot of it showing. So then I... Um, Added some splatters with the with the hot pink Heidi Swap gold gold Heidi Swap color shine that I got in my that was my February click kit and um, I think I added some black as well and so now while that's drying I'm just working on putting some embellishment around my photo so I've added a doily I had a circle that I'd cut um, a couple of weeks ago and hadn't used and I had a piece of that heart um, exclusive um, card, sorry I'm a bit lost for words at the moment, and also the Life of Sweet 3x4 card as well. So when it was dry I took it to my sewing machine and stitched it down, so I'm just cutting off the threads. Okay I'm now seeing that I haven't added any black so I must do that later on. Sorry I made this one a while ago, I'm only just getting to record the voiceover now because I've had um, sick kids. So then I have this Kaiser Craft stamp, script stamp, and I got it at a crop a couple of years ago, and I've only used it once, and I think that was at the crop, so I was really keen to pull it out and use it, and I love the texture and detail that it adds, especially on the white paint, and I'm folding up my edges just for a bit of dimension, I love doing that if I've stitched. So as you can see, I cover up probably most of the white paint on my background but um, it's part of the process and I enjoy the process and I still have it below the photo. So I probably could have added a bit more above but I'm happy with how it looks. So I've gone through the embellishments and just pulled out some that I thought I wanted to use and I'm just doing what I always do and that's playing around and seeing what looks good where. And I do apologise for the lighting on this video, it's a little bit blurry because I film this quite late in the evening and because it's autumn now the light is really not good, but I wanted to get it done so I just carried on. So the photo is from last year and it's um, my two girls. I always brush their hair and then Brielle, the youngest of course, likes to copy everything Azaria and I do and so she took the opportunity to brush Azaria's hair and I just thought it was really really cute. So here I got the crepe paper and just started playing with it, didn't really know what I was doing. It um, crinkles up really well and ruffles so I kind of thought wow instead of using the paper clip bow I'm going to make a bow and what this reminds me of is when you get a kitten and you get a piece of paper and you just do exactly what I've done and tie some a string or thread onto it then you've got a little toy for the kitten to play with and you hold it above the kitten and it just backs it with its paws and that's exactly what I thought of as I was making this little bow and so it was a little bit fiddly but I just tied it with some kind of cream thread that I have and I've added thread to a lot of the layouts that I've made with this kit and then I just fanned out the edges and there is a little bow so I needed um a little bit more underneath so I'm doing my um, latest obsession technique which is from Missy Wooden to add some messy string nests and so I've just put that underneath and I'm blowing the bow on with some Tombow and I love how it turned out. I did have a bit of overflow with the glue so if you just get a bit of cardboard or whatever you can just wipe it away. And that every day is an exclusive cut apart that we got with these kits and I didn't mean that they brush each other's hair every day it's more that this is an everyday moment and I was keen to scrap it and 
what I did find was because she's wearing a, a red and white striped top, a fine primary colour is really hard to scrap with. But because that floral has a red in it, I just thought it helped tie that in really well. And also the heart on the right there, that's an exclusive die cut. I forgot to say that we got exclusive ephemera in this kit as well. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Now I'm just adding this tag and I am tying a bow in it. And I try a couple of times and I'm not happy with it, but later on, I don't think I'll show it, but if you turn it up so that the tag is above, so turn the paper around and tie the bow again, that's the way to get the um, strings hanging the way you want them to. So I'm making some more nests of thread and just putting them underneath. And I put a dimensional pop dot on the back of the heart and then I needed some Tombow behind it to help stick through the thread. And so that's what I've done there. And then the kit has really, really cute macarons. And because I just thought girls, cutesy, and there's already macarons in the Life is Sweet card. This one has little eyes and a mouth, so I've added that one with pop dots as well. And now I'm going through the embellishments to the kit and pulling out the stickers, leather stickers. So these ones came with the main kit, and I just love them. When I first uh, made my first layout with them, I didn't make a video for that one, I did it a crop. I found them a little bit difficult because they're very flimsy and thin, but it's worth persevering because they just look fabulous on your page, and I love that there's different colours, and I also love that we get a decent amount of black ones. And of course I love that some of them are full as in there's no cutout in them, like the O in Adore. So I'm just calling this layout Adore You, and because I do, I adore both of them. And they adore each other as well. And now I'm adding the black. And I think I might have said in another video, I'm really into big drops at the moment with my splatters. So I'm adding my journaling, and I just talk about the friendship and relationship that they have together and how Brielle likes to copy. And when I do my journaling, I don't always, I don't think too hard about what I'm going to write. I know what the subject is, and then I just kind of let it flow, and so that's what I've done there. And then I'm just adding some sequins. And I think I'm only using the orange ones because I find the green is just introducing another colour that's not already on the layout. And I don't show the whole process, but I'll be gluing that down with my little fine line stampin' up. It's called a glue pen, but it's really just a fine line bottle. It has a very clear um, adhesive that works really well. And that is my final page. I hope you enjoyed my process, and I'll be back again very soon. Take care.